Thank you, Bob. Every year, Sarasota County's 911 call center answers 644,000 calls for service. But how many of those are actually emergencies? And do you know who to call if a power line comes crashing down or for some information during a hurricane? ABC 7's Taylor Torregano spoke with the people who answer your calls for service every day. She joins us live with more. Taylor. Good evening, Jacqueline. Dispatchers tell me it happens a lot more often than you might think. A concerned parent calling 911 for help because their son won't go to school, or that child calling because he's angry at his mom. Both calls clog up the lines for an actual emergency, but with a little education, we can all prioritize. That's not an emergency. I just ordered food, which is totally ridiculous. You could get in McDonald's for two dollars, what I ordered a kid's deal. I, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm filing a complaint. Not enough food in their takeout, an unruly child, an annoying buzzing noise. A buzzing, gutting, whatever. I don't okay. like it. It upsets me. Is it the noise that upsets you? Yeah. All real life examples of reasons why people have called 911. But it doesn't just happen here. You've probably heard about wow, recent calls to the cops the making world. national headlines yeah. too. Um, illegally selling water without a permit. This woman called 911 on a black eight year old girl trying to raise money to go to Disneyland. This video is one of the most recent to send social media on a frenzy, accusing the woman of being racist. But a similar situation happened in May too, as four friends checked out of their Airbnb. Seven cops swarmed them, shouting orders to put their hands in the air. But why? When I saw the lady like this through the bushes, I said, she's going to call the police. A neighbor who thought they were stealing. But even during calls for complaints about food, the dispatchers are trained to be calm, cool, and collected. I've gotten to a point in my career where maybe at the early part of my career, I thought, why are these people calling for such crazy things like you brought up a kid not getting up from school? I promise you it happens a lot more than you think it actually happens. But that's what we're here for. I mean, when it comes down to it, that's why we're here. But the reality of it is, while they are there to answer your calls, there's also other resources for non-urgent issues, and dialing 911 should be reserved for an emergency. And it's very upsetting because 911 is a serious business, and that call that's being used up by somebody that's doing a prank call or somebody who doesn't really have an emergency, they're tying up a potential phone line for somebody who's having a real emergency. It's not an emergency, ma'am. I, I don't I know you guys have more problems with this ridiculous thing that I'm calling you about. 654,000 calls for service per year means on any given day, Sarasota County will receive nearly 1,800 calls. And in the event of another hurricane, the call center will be inundated. Some people call 911 just to ask a question, and we have non-emergency lines for that. The primary number that people should call is 861-5000. That's a day-to-day -day number that people can ask any question they want about the county. And then during an emergency, they become the 24-hour citizen hotline. This year, the Emergency Operations Center has just kicked off a new system, too, giving residents the option to register for emergency updates. You put in your email address, first name and last name, and when you do, you'll get an email from the county every time we have an update in the Emergency Operations Center. A crucial effort to free up the lines during storms. So dangerous, even the first responders must stay indoors. I don't think everybody realizes that when the winds for a hurricane reach 45 miles per hour sustained, we can no longer send out emergency vehicles. So when they dial 911, we can't send them a fire truck or an ambulance, a police car. It's what kept first responders locked down for about five hours during Hurricane Irma, responding to 130 emergencies over the phone. We put a medical director in the, in the center, and he would handle things over the phone along with the 911 operators, helping people stop bleeding. Uh, you know, CPR, deliver a baby. Those are the calls that take precedence. And if you're in a position where you can't call 911, officials also want to remind you of another new service. Sarasota County can literally just text 911. You put 911 in the two box of the um, text message. Call if you can, text if you can't. Just remember to include your address. 
Of course, if you don't know who to call or are unsure if you have an emergency, dispatchers say it's better safe than sorry and to just call 911. Information like what you should have in your disaster kit and what evacuation centers are in your area can all be found online. I put a link to those resources on our website. Just visit mysuncoast.com. All right, Taylor, thank you.